Tottenham Skillshare. Um, transport and energy, it's the fourth one in a series. Um, we've done six all together though. Um, we've done one on food, one on waste and recycling. And this is about uh, transport and energy. So we've got lots of stuff about cycling, home insulation, car clubs, renewable energy. From Muswell Hill Sustainability Group, we're here just to tell people about some free draft proofing workshops that we're going to be running. The best way to save um, money on energy bills and to increase your energy efficiency is to insulate your loft. It could be that you've got some insulation that just needs topping up. The idea really is to kind of share skills skills that we're all going to need in a time of kind of economic recession, kind of climate change, and peaking oil supplies. is we generate electricity through the power of the bicycle. We hook the bicycles onto these bike stands and these bike stands have these little um, generators. As the wheel turns, it turns this little thing in the generator that creates this electricity that goes to power all the mechanical wonderful objects that we have. Skills that are going to be coming more, more survival skills almost uh, as we kind of um, move into this kind of new period uh, of lower, lower en energy intensive uh, living really. Cycling is handy because most people spend time behind the wheel of a car. And behind a car you don't get the exercise. At least people can come in and they can't afford to have it done in a bike shop. At least they can come here and get some of the repairs done. I'll always advise them how to change their brakes, how to change a cable. What's the best way to maintain a bicycle? That sort of thing as well. And it's also about building community, so um, it should be a kind of fun day. Living Streets, which is a national charity who acts in on, the, uh, on behalf of pedestrians. Well, we're going to do a, a street audit. Uh, the, uh, a street audit is, is, is a way of getting people to look at the condition of pavements and the pedestrian experience to see whether it's the kind of thing the pedestrians would, uh, would, would like. To get people involved, it, I mean residents, traders, local councillors, uh, local council workers who are, who, who, whose job is to look after that kind of part of the area and then any, anybody who has a real interest in that particular area, that's, that's uh, what we go for. I think it's really good today, I really enjoyed myself, I learned a lot about the bike how the bike works, yeah. On top of that, I got my bike fixed, <laughs> which was really good because I had my bike fixed for six months.